Hello and welcome to Hazel Technologies and this is Amit and today we are going to learn how to configure your Gmail ID on Outlook right so these are very simple steps what we need to do first you need to go and log in into your Gmail account and then you need to do little extra settings because uh, Google is not going to allow any unsecured connection because when you are logging in uh, either in Outlook, Thunderbird and that's all these are unsecured means these are the third party so what you need to do you need to give the request to Google that uh, you are going to accept uh, uh, the less security version sorry my nose is running so uh, what you need to do you just need to follow this uh, settings tool and from here the settings and the next here in settings you have to go to the forwarding and pop imp setting you need to enable them and then you need to save them and then later when you will save you have to accept this less secure apps so this is the link uh, i will put that in uh, description you can copy it from there as well and uh, you have to copy you have to paste and then uh, after logging into your account and then access for security secure apps so by default it's turn off and you need to turn on so let's flip to gmail logging gmail and then how we can configure it step by step so just logging gmail So this is that uh, settings here and you have to come settings from here this is the option forwarding and pop and you need to enable enable pop for all mails then enable and at the bottom you need to save changes fine now uh, you need to go for the secure app less secure app so i already have copied that and just copy and paste so by default access for the less secure app is turn off you need to turn it on so it has updated now everything is done from this in now need to configure it on Outlook so we will go to all programs here and Microsoft Office and this is my Outlook by default already I do have this idea and I already told you that how to config GoDaddy hosted email so if uh, you don't know how to configure your GoDaddy email address so you can uh, watch my previous video although I have created a video how to send bulk mails using microsoft word and using mail merge function so you can watch that also so from here you just need to click here file and that is add account here you need to go for the manual setup next and pop next so now here your name let's suppose i'm just writing hazel Hazel Technologies, my email address career.hazels at gmail.com and then here are the settings so how you can get these settings these incoming server setting or something it is very simple but although you can get it from here as well when you are going here in settings forwarding so at the bottom you will see the configuration instruction when you will click on the configuration instructions you will get entire how you are going step by step so this is IMF and this is the port number and outgoing server so these all settings are there so what we are going to do that we need to understand it so for the POP we do have POP 
dot gmail dot com very simple and then smtp dot gmail dot com very simple right username put your entire username at gmail dot com and your password so another thing you need to do is that that you have to do a little bit of setting you have to adjust the port numbers and all so go more settings on outgoing server click here and my outgoing server SMT required authentication select this by default is unchecked you need to check it and then advance here by default the POP is 110 and this is 25 so use not default but this is the SSL so you have to use 995 and Gmail use TLS certificate when you can use SSL and something but TLS certificate so here you need to use 587 the port number is 587 and if you will not uncheck this so from your Gmail no automatically after 14 days your mails will removed so you don't need to check this just uncheck it and okay now everything is done just test your connection if everything is fine so it will show you completed it is progressing if it will be correct then it will show you completed means incoming is correct now outgoing it is checking the outgoing and it will send a test mail so everything is okay shown completed close it and next so again same process will happen don't need to get worried about it close now everything finish just click finish now you will see that has added as you will click here so mail will start getting downloaded for that send you can press f9 as well or particularly you want inbox so if any new mail is there that will come to your inbox so already i have done it so i don't have any new mail it might take time because your mail will be downloading from your server so that's it guys thank you so much for your time please like and subscribe our channel thank you